You have to touch the ball, apparently, a lot <laughs> to be on that list. Chris Obanaya comes in at running back, number three. Pass over the middle is intercepted by a defensive lineman for K-State at the 30. At the 20, this is Manu, and Moses Manu will take it in for the touchdown. Check it. Ian Campbell, 98 rather than 96. Campbell rambles 40 yards for the touchdown. Kind of reminds you of James Laurinaitis against the University of Washington a couple of weeks ago. Campbell, who now plays linebacker, actually was in the middle of the line of scrimmage and read McCoy's eyes and jumped up, and that ball just stuck in his hands. It did stick in his hands. It didn't go, it didn't come close to coming out. Then he did a nice job of bringing it down the sideline. The extra point by Rossman is good, and all of a sudden with 3.53 left in the second quarter, it is Kansas State 14 at Texas 7. You hit it right on the head, Ron, with uh, how much Cosby and Nate Jones had to step up early in the year because of all of the injuries, the suspension, etc. They had coming into the season what they thought was unbelievable depth at wide receiver, and all of a sudden they're at Central Florida. Lima Sweet goes down. And they're missing guys against TCU, and those guys really stepped up, and, and it pays off. Your quarterback has the confidence to make that type of throw because that is a dangerous throw. Hunter Lawrence with the kickoff. It's a spinner. Take it at the 15-yard line. That's Johnson, and Johnson breaks it. Lawrence misses the tackle. He may be gone. 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5, 85 yards on the touchdown. Boy, the, the crowd has gone silent here for the Longhorns. And it's interesting, Lawrence's first two kicks today were five yards deep in the end zone. That hit at the 15-yard line. Well, you see the difference in that, the, the new rule this year, kicking from the 30, and coaches talked about it gives more return possibilities. Rossman with the extra point, and he's got it. And now a 222 to play, the new score, Kansas State 21 and Texas 14. It's interesting when people asked Ron Prince what he planned and, and how he wanted to build the program. What would his blueprint be? Now remember that Ron Prince came to Kansas State from the University of Virginia. The blueprint that he wanted to build this program around was Virginia Tech because he figured we'd get the same type of players that Virginia Tech got when Frank Beamer was building that program. It's a land-grant university like Virginia Tech and and Ron Prince has done an excellent job. They've been excellent in a return game since Ron Prince got to Kansas State. Let me give you a stat. Go back and look. James Johnson, his first kickoff return ever was against the University of Kansas. He took it all the way back for a touchdown, actually a little bit longer than this one right here. So uh, he's not new to the end zone by way of kickoff returns. And, uh, of course, we mentioned earlier James Johnson was a high school teammate of Jamal Charles. And right now, the older high school teammate having a little bigger day. 